In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the color mixer and how to make up colors to apply to text or other objects. So to begin with, I'll just select a piece of clip art here. Uh, oh, this one will be OK. Click Accept. And we'll put that there like that. Now, I can change the color of this object by coming over to these color swatches over here and I can select any of these and change the color. But if I want to actually mix the color up here and, and change it to something else, I can come over to here and click on Uniform Color, or I can come up to this Tools menu and come down to Color Management and click on the Color Mixer there. And that brings up the Color Mixer, and you can see it's brought in the color of our current object. Now, you get the color models up the top here, so you can select which color model you like. You can adjust the color channels. You can select default swatches, and you can use these tools here, this color wheel and this color selector here, to actually change this preview color here. So for example, if I wanted a, um, a different type of blue, I can come all the way to the darkest of blues, basically all the way to black. I can come all the way to white, and all the way to fully saturated blue up here, and anything in between by moving this node around. Now if I want to change the actual hue, I can use this, this node here and, and spin around the hue wheel like this. And I might make it, say, a, a purpley type color or a pinkish type colour. And purples are more down here and the pinks are more over here. And I can adjust this slightly, like that, and get the exact colour I'm looking for. Of course I can type in numeric values if I currently or happen to know what uh, numeric values I, I want to use. And that's very handy for known colour palettes. Uh, and a lot of these are in LAB. So you can come in here and you can actually set very precise colours. Now the other thing is you've got this node here and that's the f this is the full RGB color set here, the 16.7 million colors here. And I can go all the way from a very black up to a more white color and move this around and select the color I like. And you can see everything is related to each other. As I move this up around, we see all our values changing here and we see the color wheel spinning around. So I can set whatever color I like back to a blue and I can make it darker or lighter. And you can see the preview is updating here. And once I'm happy with my colour, say this red colour, I can click Apply, and the mixed colour is applied to this object here, which is a, a, a great way of being able to mix colours up and, uh, and to make them as you need them. And if you go onto the fill, oh, it's actually, it's recognising that's red. If I make that a different colour, if I slightly change it to, say, that colour there, and click Apply, and come up to here, it's now telling me, as you can see, the RGB value 2525353. So that's good information to have. Now, if I want to make this red colour uh, be applied to this uh, text here, I can simply come to this tool here and copy the fill to the reserve fill, and then you get this thing called the fill buffer. And what you do then is you select the object you want to apply that colour to, and come back and click on the fill buffer, and it brings the colour across. So that's an easy way of applying one colour to another, well, the colour of one object to another object. I'll show you something else here. If I, I'll just bring in that piece of clip art again. If I want to make this piece of clip art here one of these colours on the screen, or any colour on the screen, uh, it doesn't matter what, I can click on the uh, uniform colour selector here and I get this tool here, select. So I move this slightly out of the way, like that. And if I click on this button and hold down my left mouse button, you can see when I come over here, it selects this colour in the, in the preview over here. See that? It selects this uh, magenta colour, yellow or black. And it will select any of these colours as well. Now I can select a colour up here. For example, this grey colour here, 230, 230, 230. Or I can come up to the title bar. Um, and I just let go of my mouse button when I'm happy with the colour I'm above. Click on that and go Apply. And that way I have now applied a colour using that tool from anywhere on my screen to the actual object itself. So being able to mix up colours is very easy in Vinyl Mastered by using the uh, colour mixing tool. And that's the end of this lesson.